gosh. <gasps> they are stunning. Oh my God, I can't. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Very cute. Okay, I just got my wholesale order. Oh my gosh, this stuff is beautiful. Some of the stuff is a little bit smaller than I thought, if I'm being honest, but I didn't look at like the sizes or anything. So, but I'll show you what I got. So these are from the brand Hess, which is a German brand. So I got these two rattles. So this one's like a pink color, this one's a blue. And then I got this stacker set, which is a lot um, smaller than I thought. And then these are stunning. These are so cute. These little rolly uh, birds and elephants. Then I got these Astrup cars, which are just gorgeous. The packaging is just stunning. And then I got this Astrup doll feeding set, which is just so gorgeous. So it comes with a little bib, a bowl, some blocks, and then like bottles and, and whatever. These ones over here, I think that I will open just because I can, I'll just make some like really cute pictures with them. It just means that like, you know, I only ordered like six of each. So that means I only have five of each to sell, but yeah. Really, really happy with these. These are so cute. And I feel like they match really well with the products that I am selling. So they're beautiful wooden toys. Um, oh, so good. Okay, so it's a brand new week. It's a Monday today. And I have just, I'm just uploading my launch video. It's taken me this long to get around to editing it which is silly. Um, so I've got that on my last vlog to edit. Um, so I've done that this morning. Um, I just wanted to open that delivery from the wholesale place. So bad, but I had to edit my vlog first. Um, I've got 10 parcels to pack, which came through over the weekend. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. I've got a couple of other things that I need to do for like my own business as well. I need to film a TikTok and take some pictures with some clothes. Today's Monday. I think I'll launch the the new items on Wednesday. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna make like a little launch thing about them. And then I've got my um I've made milestone pregnancy discs and wardrobe hangers. So these are products that I've designed myself. Ah, I've got them coming. I don't know if they'll come this week. They might come next week. So I can launch them like next week or whenever they come. Really excited for those. They look awesome. I can't wait to design more. Um, but that's what I worked on last week. I also am in the process of getting samples for clothing. So um, I sent them designs that I liked and then they've made them in the colors that I like. Um, so I don't know when they'll come. There's one that's been like a push back a few weeks because they're just taking a bit longer, but it's beautiful knitwear. So waiting for those to come, but I need to like make more money to make those orders because clothing is huge. Still waiting on my essential ribbed little onesies to come. What else? Oh, I ordered another Ikea little system, like another two sets of drawers. Um, and shelves which is cool so I just edited my launch video before and I will say that I was so so slow with packing the orders I have I feel like I've really got the hang of Shippo um, I'm doing much better at it now and I can kind of edit just look at the order and see if it needs to go into a box or a satchel and choose the right you know packaging for the order and then I can print off the labels that I will say that there's sometimes it comes up with an error saying that it couldn't connect to Australia Post so it only prints half the labels then you have to go through them all again which is really annoying but I did get my first international order yay although <laughs> she I, I need to email her back but I had to email her because she actually put Australia not New Zealand so she didn't pay the correct postage um so anyway sorted that out um but yeah i got my first international order so i've got to pack that i've got it here to pack um so i just need to print off the label and send that today i think her name was 
uh, was it Victoria? I think it was Victoria. Um, but she picked out a ribbed bow turban in vanilla and a rose bunny teether and then a dusty pink organic thin ribbed headband. Like, I love that you guys are just, I took some photos on the weekend and actually you guys inspired me with your orders to take like some, you know, neutral hued colored pictures, like, you know, with those certain products. But I did a huge photo session yesterday, took heaps of pictures for hopefully the next well, hopefully the next week of, of Instagram pictures. If I'm posting twice a day, that's like 14 pictures that I need. And it's a lot. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next day and I got my IKEA storage. So this is just some of it, but yeah, we're gonna build it now. We've just made, we're making the space here and I've just been like cleaning up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it'll look so good when that's all together. Penny's helping Dean build the units. And um, we're missing one of these. We got a different item instead. So I'm just on hold to IKEA and hopefully they can deliver it. <laughs> hey guys, I haven't updated you in a little bit, but I just got a package, so it's either some samples or my milestone discs and wardrobe hangers. So let's open it and have a look. Yay! They're bigger than I expected. Oh, they look really nice. They look so good. These are gorgeous. Yeah, I love these. They look amazing. Oh my God, these are so cool. They look lovely. Really happy with these. Hey guys, so today I'm packing some orders. I have worked out a little routine for packing orders for me, which is great. So I do them on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I do them so then I can take them to the post office around four because the parcels, I think well, all the mail gets picked up about four or 4.30 or so. What I like to do is print off all of the labels. So these ones are just the ones that have been sent with tracking. I do think I have a couple of orders where I am just putting them as a large letter because they're small items. So I just write the name um, and address on one of these and stick it on either one of these. I wish that I had a size in between, but the place where I got them from, they don't actually have a size in between, which is a little bit silly. And then I just put stamps on those ones that need to be sent. But yeah, these are the ones that I've got to send today. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the one of them is international as well. I know I've talked about it in a previous video. It's taken me a while to do it, but um, basically with Shippo, you can set up which packaging you're using for what. With the satchels, you, I just have like, I put in their size. So I measured them in their size, the three different sizes. And then the same with the boxes that I've got. So like this box, I just put in all of the measurements and then it goes also by weight of the products. So that automatically works it out for you, but I've got a default to be put into a small satchel. So then if there's like usually a silicon product, like a silicon toy product, I'll pop it in a box. Um, and depending on if they've got like other things like these ones definitely need to go into a box. And these little Hess toys, these ones don't actually fit in the small box. I now have a better idea of what stock can fit into what packaging. So then I fill that out. I look at their order and I'm like, oh, that'll go into a small box or a large box or just a small satchel will be fine. And then I just choose the right packaging and then it goes to different providers. Now I use Australia Post, I have my account 
connected through them um, and then it chooses the rate I would show me packaging the orders but I'm gonna run out of battery um, so yeah um, if you want to see me pack up orders how I do it I do have a few things on my Instagram and my TikTok that's all about how I ship orders. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Squarespace and Squarespace is the online platform if you are wanting to create a website. You can create anything from a blog, an online store, events and weddings and if you have any kind of small business. They have amazing help guides. You can find anything that you need to just type it in the Squarespace help search section and you can learn anything you need to find out how to do. I have built three websites with Squarespace. My current one that I'm using most often is my Dashmail website. I can add in sections about whatever that lockdown one is just for a sale that I've got on at the moment. Um, and yeah, you can put in anything that you want to so easily. There's my Instagram account linked, which takes you straight to my Instagram account uh, if you do click on it, which is so cool. But here is my shop for Dashmail. It sells baby goods online, which has been so easy to do with the help of Squarespace. Here is my blog with crystalconti.com and here's my mum's site healingsforyou.com where she sells a service so I've used it selling different types of physical and digital downloads and a service they have amazing access to your inventory you can update it so so quickly and quickly add photos which is so handy you can do it from your phone even through their app I do also have access to creating email campaigns super handy to do and you can create email campaigns which look this good good in just a couple of minutes. Another thing to mention is their analytics. Through their analytics, I can see where my visitors come from, how long they spend on my pages, and where they come from in regards to like social or search or direct link. I can highly recommend Squarespace, and I do have a coupon code to get you 10% off your website or domain. They do have a 14 day free trial, which is also amazing. So feel free to check it out. guys so checking in for the 6th of august i don't even know when i last updated you i feel like it's just been a crazy whirlwind we're now in like our sixth lockdown starting like last night um i have just received a new um like a restock of like the silicon products the toys so we've got the star stacker back in the rainbow stacker the bear nest um, I only had like one of these left and then I got some other things like these little silicon cups these little round stackers and I <laughs> little blunder here um, this is the replacement for the purple bear nest but this is not a nude purple it's like a bright purple lilac -y purple and I'm really annoyed that they didn't get that right I don't know what happened. I don't know what I could do about it. I'm just like, oh. Also this week I received samples. So I received heaps of samples for clothing. I've got like little rib sets and knitwear. And I got even these like 
gorgeous blankets. They're so nice, so, so lovely. There's a couple of things that I need to fine tune, a lot of things, and I don't know, it fills my mind with a lot of doubt because with clothing especially, I feel like it needs to be like really top-notch quality because what's the point you can just go to, you know, like Kmart or Target or something and purchase something. And even their stuff is really good quality. Yeah, so I'm testing out the ribbed sets on Daisy at the moment. Um, and I have worn, I put two sets on it and I've washed one of them so far, but I need her to keep wearing them to see how they wear because I'm just, I'm not sure if they're good enough quality. See, with the little onesies that I'm still waiting on, Daisy's worn that like 10 times or more and it's washed up perfectly every time, no shrinkage, no pilling. It's just beautiful quality and I know that, uh, but with these other, they're all different suppliers, so you need to test things out before you go and make it. And the thing is, you're purchasing like so much, you're spending so much money, like thousands of dollars, I can't get this wrong, um, even though I want to rush into it and get it. Like I wanted to have like little clothing sets out for spring and that's probably not going to happen realistically because I need to work so far in ahead to make that happen. I know I sound like a bit of a downer and I am in, in a bit of a downer mood today. I don't know why. I just last night put on a sale for 15% off as well for lockdown. Um, I know so many people are struggling right now and I just, like, my heart goes out to the people that especially have to homeschool because I can't imagine how hard that would be. <laughs> so I did kind of do a little bit of a clean out yesterday. I might move these and then have these two shelves as the silicon toy shelves. Okay, so I've just popped them in here, but now this is like full. It looks good. Okay, so here's a sneak peek of the samples. I, I just feel like a little bit weird about showing the samples, but yeah, these are the kind of colors that I went with. Um, really love this one, but it's far too big. And um, I really love these pants here, but they are a bit long and the waist is very narrow, but they are beautiful quality. And then we have like all of these colors to choose from, which is amazing that they sent me this. As I was saying before about the seasons, like, I mean, where I live in Ballarat, oh, there's a hair. Where I live in Ballarat, it is cold like most of the year. So even in spring and summer, you, can end up wearing like a sweater kind of thing um uh, or at least like a cardigan on a baby most days unless it's like quite hot um so i know that we would get use out of it in victoria but i don't know about the rest of the world but like i mean i don't know it's hard because ugh, i don't know what to do <laughs> i guess i can plan for next year but then styles and colors and things could have changed what i was hoping to do was have like maybe two cardigans like one kind of for girls and one kind of for boys because i really love this one like it's so gorgeous um so i was thinking of having like a separate style for boys which i really like this one as well but then i really love the jumpers like i love i'm obsessed with this just needs to be smaller and i really love this one here as well decisions 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 need to be made because I don't have endless amounts of money, unfortunately. Mm -hmm.